In the past, I've uploaded videos covering brief overviews of Irish, Welsh, Cornish, and even Guernsey mythology and folklore. In this video, we'll be taking a look at yet another traditional Celtic region, Brittany, in the north of modern France. The Breton people are said to be descendants of the Insular Britons, which were said to be the Celtic Britons. These people settled in the Brittany region as early as the 3rd century. The people during this time would have already been Christianized, the new migrant population maintained their Celtic beliefs, and these were similar to Welsh and Cornish beliefs. Breton mythology, like Cornish, Irish, Welsh and Scottish, contains a number of gods and creatures, and they often have a strong link to nature. Breton mythology is interesting as there are often traces of British Catholic saints that mix with traditional beliefs. During the Roman invasions, many of these tales, places and landmarks were completely destroyed. However, using the few tales that were passed down orally, we find records of various creatures. The Anku was the personification of death in both Breton and Cornish myth. It was also evident in Welsh and Norman French folklore. Antoine Le Bras, a 19th century writer, gives this description of the Anku. The Anku is the henchman of death, and he's also known as the Graveyard Watcher. They said that he protects the graveyard and the souls around it for some unknown reason, and he collects the souls on his land. The last dead of the year in each parish becomes the Anku for his parish for the following year. When there has been in a year more deaths than usual, people would say, Oh my faith, this is one nasty Anku. The Bugle Nos, or Night Shepherd, was a fairy spirit that lived in the woodlands of Brittany. He's said to be the last of his kind, and is described as being extremely ugly. His appearance caused him distress, and it's said that he looked so awful that even woodland animals would avoid him, which caused him to cry out to warn humans that he was approaching, so that he wouldn't frighten them. He was not malicious, and was rather gentle, although he was doomed to suffer a life of complete solitude. It was even said that they were so hideous that a human would die upon seeing one. The Corrigan is a fairy or dwarf type spirit. In fact, the word Corrigan literally means small dwarf, closely related to the Cornish word Corrig, meaning gnome. Their nature seems to change according to the place. They are often said to inhabit rivers or springs, seen especially at dusk or night. They would try to lure men into their beds, which resulted in a watery death. Similarly, Morgans were another form of water spirit that would drown men. They would use their beauty or would often show glimpses of underwater gardens with buildings of gold or crystal. They were often blamed for floodings or of crops and villages. One particular tale from Breton mythology is the town of Ys, which was a mythical city that stood on the coast. The city was flooded and swallowed by the sea. This has also been blamed on the Morgans. In future videos, we'll look more into the tale of East as well as other creatures and tales from Breton mythology. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more videos soon. Garmagan.